The final award tonight, uh, the, the Michael Russell Oration has become a key event within the Global Forum on Nicotine, and we're very grateful to the Russell family, to Audrey Russell and her family for letting us have that uh, lecture in his name. Uh, the Russell family has now very kindly agreed to the establishment of an award in Michael Russell's memory. So the intention of this award is to honour someone who's made a substantial and innovative contribution to the science and understanding of safer nicotine products and of tobacco harm reduction. This year's judging panel uh, was comprised Professor Anne McNeil, uh, Professor Lynn Kozlowski, uh, Professor Martin Jarvis and myself. We received many high quality nominations from all around the world, but one in particular stood out. It's often been remarked that Sweden provides a unique case study of the impact of snus on smoking. Sweden is the only country in the European Union where snus may be sold legally. And this natural experiment with a large amount of long-term epidemiological evidence provides substantial information on snus, smoking, and tobacco-related disease. Indeed, as many of you know, the Royal College of Physicians in the UK argued that the use of snus in Sweden is proof of concept for the efficacy and effectiveness of tobacco harm reduction. <coughs> Made that point in 2007, when apart from snus, there were no really uh, attractive and accessible uh, alternatives to smoking. Tonight's recipient started publishing and working in tobacco control in the 1960s, and in 1998 he was given the World Health Organization Award Medal for Achievements in Tobacco Control. Uh, we now look 20 years later for a different award. If I may quote from the nomination, uh, it takes an extraordinary openness to facts and a lot of personal courage for a Swedish scientist to change their mind and take a harm reduction approach to, in tobacco at the age of, I'll leave that out for now, after 25 years in tobacco control. It takes heroism and true dedication to health to actively continue to defend that position in a person of the age of, I'll leave that out as well, uh, with a comprehensive and always compelling analysis of the latest data. Seems to be an evening of allusions to science fiction. Uh, we've had Star Wars, and the nomination for this award also included an allusion to science fiction, but this time to Star Trek, and said that this person, uh, he, to be, the, the achievement is to boldly go where few Swedish tobacco scientists have gone before. Um, if I may conclude on a personal note and thanks, the recipient's work contributed significantly to the current challenge to the EU ban on SNUS, and in evidence provided to the Court of Justice, we have this statement from him. If SNUS is made available by lifting of the current ban in the EU and truthful public education encourages substitution of SNUS for cigarettes, as in Sweden, then around 320,000 premature deaths per year can conceivably be prevented among men 30 years and older in the current EU countries. So I can reveal the age, um, 87, I think 88 next week, I think I've got that right. And it's my pleasure that the 2018 Michael Russell Award goes to Dr. Lars Ramstrong. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jerry, for your kind presentation. For me, it is a real pleasure and a big uh, honor to get this recognition of my modest contributions to harm reduction. And it is a particular happiness for me to be given a reward that was established in memory of Michael Russell. His 
famous statement that people smoke uh, for the nicotine while they die uh, for the tar has served as kind of a uh, definition of the concept of harm reduction. Mike uh, came with that statement in 1976, but it took some time before the concept of harm reduction was actually established as a public health strategy. When I met Mike for the first time at the late, in the late 1970s, we were working to develop the nicotine chewing gum in Sweden. At that time, the nicotine chewing gum was the only nicotine product that was acknowledged to be free from the uh, hazardous tar compounds. Mike was optimistic about other uh, such less harmful products to be developed, but he was at the same time skeptical about how such products would be approved by other people. Uh, so, and he feared that there will always be people who, for dogmatic reasons, will reject such products. And I think we have seen now how right he was. Swedish SNPs was early enough looked upon as a potential harm reduction product, but still in the early 1990s, there was a lot of suspicion about the harmlessness of SNPs. And although it was not accused of causing lung cancer, of course, since SNPs doesn't reach the respiratory tract, there were accusations of other cancer risks. And it took till 1998 before we got the first published study that absolved SNPs from risks of head and neck cancer. Okay, at the same time, there were a lot of uh, beliefs that SNPs taken up by young people would make them nicotine dependent in a way that would lead to uh, later onset of smoking. This is the famous gateway theory. And I must admit that in the late 1980s, even I was falling in that trap and I even uh, co-authored an article containing assumptions of that kind. But soon after that, in the mid-1990s, I started my epidemiological research on SNPs. And soon enough, the findings shows a totally different picture, including evidence that SNPs was a superiorly effective smoking cessation tool. All the time, I have felt inspired by the spirit and ideas of Michael Russell. And so, therefore, let me conclude by conveying a sincere thank you to the award panel and my best regards to the Russell family. Thank you very much.